Good morning or whenever you're watching this. In this video, I'll be showing you how I straighten my hair, that whole process, and how I feather the ends of my hair without adding extra heat. The products I'll be using are my heat protecting spray, a blow drying brush, um, my comb, bobby pins for the pin curls, a blow dryer with concentrated nozzle, clips, um, my scarf at the end, and of course, the flat iron. So let's get started. This is my hair with absolutely no product in it. The day before, the morning before actually, I just washed it with my Yes to Carrots, conditioned it, rinsed that out, and pulled it back in a bun. So it's nice and stretched out. Well, more stretched than it would be if I let it air dry without having it pulled back. But what I do first is part it into four sections. And then I'm gonna use my heat spray and really concentrate on the ends of my hair. Then what I do is split that section in half just to make sure that uh, some of the heat protecting spray got to the roots too because breakage ha happens at the roots also. I'm going to brush that through and this is my hair before the blow dry. I split that section in half just to make sure that the inside of that section is also um, blow dried and begin to blow dry it. In this part, what I do is really concentrate on the roots and when I get to the end of the hair shaft, I let it go so that um, my ends, the oldest part of your hair, isn't exposed to as much heat. Once that section is blow dried, I just twist it out of the way and go ahead to the next section. Now that that whole side of my head is done, I just let the front part down so that you can see the difference between the two sides. That side is completely blow dried and the side that I'm letting down now hasn't been touched yet. So it's really important when you're blow drying your hair before you flat iron to let the blow dryer do most of the work for you. So that when you go to flat iron it, you, can, you only have to do one pass. You don't have to keep putting all that heat on your hair. And this is what I was talking about. See how the root is pretty wavy? I let the blow dryer take care of most of that so that I don't have to keep passing the flat iron through. I think that's what causes a lot of heat damage. And here's the after. See most of those kinks are gone. And here's a little shot of before and after. So that's the completely blow drying part my whole head is blow dried in that upper um, right corner. Now that we are done with that, I can section my hair back into force and start flat ironing. When I flat iron my hair, I make sure to part it into really small sections. The smaller the section is, the straighter your hair is gonna be and the longer it'll last. Because when you take really big sections, the inside of it is still pretty poofy. So you wanna make sure that you're taking smaller sections so that you can just do one pass and let that section go. Also, when you're flat ironing your hair, or for that matter, doing anything to your hair, it's probably better to do it when you're not sleepy so that you don't um, rush through it. Especially when you're flat ironing though, you don't wanna rush through and burn your hair or your face, cause I've burnt my face a lot. And even right here, um, I felt that that section was way too big and that the heat wouldn't go all the way through. So I just split it in half. That's how my hair will look. One fourth is done. Again, no product. All I've used so far still is that um, heat protecting spray. When I'm done with each fourth of my hair, I take um, about four sections and pin curl them out of the way. This gives that little feathered look at the ends of my hair when I take it all down. And that's what it looks like once um, that section is done being pink curled and I move on to the next section. Once my whole head is flat ironed, um, the back two sections I just use two big pink curls. I don't bother putting them into smaller ones. I use a finishing spray before I wrap it up. Um, I think I'm using, yep, Cantu, the oil sheen. I wrap it up and go to bed. <laughs> 
The next morning, I'm finally ready to take it down. I do everything. I get everything out of the way. I always leave my hair till the complete end because I want to leave my scarf on as long as possible. But this is how it looks after I release those pin curls. And as you can see, the ends of my hair, they're slightly bent and kind of feathered back. And to maintain this style, just instead of putting um, additional heat or holding spray, just pin curl it again at night and wrap it up again. It's really easy. So that's it, that's the whole process. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.